and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights that were released in July of 2021. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination, I can immediately picture all of the kind of games that I could build. This one is the list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. Go watch those if you haven't seen them yet. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, the latest Unity Mega Bundle is ending very soon. This is a massive discount at 95% off, so if just one asset looks interesting, then the whole bundle is worth it. I picked it up myself primarily for the awesome spell effects and the interesting cable simulator. Like I said, it ends very soon, so check it out quickly. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far I've made the free key door system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your game, and the mouse cursor system pro, which is a very easy to use tool to help you create some custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. All right, so starting off with a really awesome animation pack, the great dual blade anime set. The animations by this developer are always awesome, very stylish, very punchy. This one is all about having a character with dual wielding blades. You've got attacks, combos, rolls, defense, and so on. I really love just how stylish they are. I'd love to use this one in some future melee action videos. Then a pretty interesting pack, Low Poly Industrial. There's tons of low poly assets, but most of them are normal cities or fantasy. So this one is pretty nice and unique. Lots of industry related objects. You've got a bunch of factories, reactors, containers, and giant cargo ships. This would be great for making some sort of SimCity-like game. Next up, a really good looking sci-fi pack called Cyberpunk Under Siege. It features tons of modular pieces for you to build your own cyberpunk environments. The pack includes the assets and also the turret with the particle bullets shown in the video. Really great looking realistic visuals. Then if you want just a single asset but super high quality, here is a 4K pistol. It's a very highly detailed model. Includes ammunition with a cartridge and shell, and also it's fully rigged, so it comes with 15 animations. This high-end model would be pretty great on just about any first-person game. Then for something quite unique, here is a ocean environment pack. You've got a bunch of rocks and some seaweed, a bunch of creatures, some sharks, jellyfish and other fish types. It also has a spline system for easily animating all of the creatures. I can see this being super useful if you want to build a game sort of like Subnautica. Next up, for some materials, here is a great pack. They are stylized and look really great. Tons and tons of variety in six themes. You've got ice, forest, desert, lava, water, and jungle. Use these to populate your world with some gorgeous textures. Then we've got a new polygon pack. This one is all about shops. It's their usual signature style, really good looking low poly assets. Features fully modular buildings, tons of food items and props. Since it's modular, you could use this in combination with my house building system and let the player build their own shops. Contains 14 characters with tons of attachments, and also a bunch of environment objects like roads, sidewalks and so on, so you can definitely build an entire mini town with a shopping center with this pack. I can see this one being awesome for building some sort of multi-coon game. Then a whole bunch of character effects, here is the character shader pack 2. Tons of effects and all of them look pretty great. So you've got Cartoon, Hologram, Petrify, Shake, Glass and tons more. You can also modify the attributes exposed in the shader in order to further customize them. If you want just a single effect, you can grab it individually, but with this pack you get all of them with a nice discount. Up next, some really awesome samurai animations. If you've been playing Ghost of Tsushima and you'd like to make a prototype sort of like it, then this pack is great. Lots of great animations, both using a katana as well as a short bow, in total over 500 animations. They are very high quality, very punchy animations, just add some sound effects and some particles and it would look excellent. And of course, they are all humanoid animations, so they work with any character. If you want a hyper-realistic modern military character, here's a great one. It's modular, so by mixing and matching you can get near infinite possibilities. Lots of equipment, male and female bodies, tons of props, radios, vests, and a bunch of firearms. If this style fits with your game, then this is pretty much the only character pack you need. If you're looking for some particle effects, here is a great pack, the Black Mage Spells. It's all about spells, so perfect for any sort of fantasy game. Great looking particles, some very creative spells. Includes 10 unique effects, along with icons, as well as some sound effects. For something quite unique, here is an antique city pack. 
This one is great if you're working on something like a gladiatorial management game or maybe a city builder set in ancient times. And the assets are also pretty detailed, so maybe you could also use this in first or third person. Then here's a super cool high-end robot with a strange name. I really like the design on this one, perfect if you're making some sort of futuristic dystopian game. You get the robot along with a really cool futuristic weapons, as well as a whole bunch of animations. You've got walking, running, shooting or death, so you can use this and make it as an enemy or make this your player character. Do you want to build a farming game? Well, here's a really nice modular farm. Tons of pieces for you to use and make an infinite variation of buildings. Again, this is a great pack to use with my house building system, lots of pieces you can use. You can build houses, huts, barns, mansions or just about anything. It's got a pretty nice realistic visual with some very high quality textures. Then something nice and jolly, here is Cute Zoo. Features 15 animals in a really cute art style. Very unique animals, so you've got a lizard, bison, anteater, red panda. If you like this art style, then this developer also has more packs with even more animals. Maybe you're working on a flying game, here's a futuristic sci-fi fighter pack. It's one realistic plane with lots of variation. I quite like the design on this one, looks futuristic but not too surreal. I've never actually done any videos on flying game mechanics, so looking at this one makes me want to research that topic. Or maybe you want to build some normal houses, here is a realistic house pack. Features both interior and exterior, almost 200 unique models, really high quality and correctly scaled to make sure that it's all accurate. Great if you're making a game sort of like House Flipper or maybe something like The Sims. Then for something a bit more toony, here is a suburban pack. Pre-massive pack, over 800 prefabs. Also includes 70 pre-made buildings and interiors, and it even includes vehicles with fully working interiors and doors. It's a really massive pack, so if you feel like this art style, it's a great choice. Or maybe you go back into the 80s with these super stylized skyboxes. Includes 15 preset skyboxes, all of them great looking, very unique, but you can also customize it and build your own. Define your own sun shape and watch it over the horizon. If your game is all about neon, then this one is a no-brainer. Or maybe for something more calming, here is a countryside open world. It's a very large countryside scene, really great to just drag and drop and start building your prototype on this preset map, or just use all the prefabs and build your own scene. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Asset Store for July of 2021. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also the latest Unity Mega Bundle is ending very soon. This is a massive discount at 95% off, so if just one asset looks interesting then the whole bundle is worth it. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.